southeast of the city center stands San Salvario District, which extends from Corso Vittorio Emanuele II to Corso Bramante and is delimited by the Turin Genoa Railway on the west side and by the Po River on the east side. Home to an increasing immigrants community, the district is an example of integration among different cultures, it also features an incremented nightlife after the opening of several low-cost bars and restaurants. San Salvario is crossed by two main roads, Via Nizza and Via Madama Cristina, and just as the city center it is characterized by the grid plan typical of Turin's old neighborhoods. The hub of the district is Piazza Madama Cristina which hosts a big open market, while several commercial activities flourish around it. The celebrated Parco del Valentino is situated in the east side of San Salvario and, albeit not in downtown, it represents kind of central park of Turin. Thanks to the vicinity to the city center, the park is very popular among the local people, during the day but also at night, because of the several bars and nightclubs placed here. From the terraces of Parco del Valentino, many sights of the hills on the other side of the river can be appreciated. In the center of the park stands the Castello del Valentino, built in the 17th century. Today, Castello del Valentino serves as the Faculty of Architecture of the Polytechnic University of Turin. Another cluster of buildings in the park is the Borgo Medieval, a replica of medieval mountain castles of Piedmont and Aosta Valley, built for the 1884 International Exhibition. Other buildings in Corso Massimo di Zelio include the Torino Esposizione complex featuring a monumental entrance with a large full-height porch, a main hall designed by Pier Luigi Nervi in reinforced concrete, and the Teatro Nuovo, a theater mostly focused on ballet's exhibitions. Another building is the largest synagogue of the city, located in Piazzetta Primo Levi Square. Its architecture stands in the main side of the city, as characterized by four large towers, 27 meters high, topped by four onion-shaped domes. South of Centro stands the Crocetta district, considered one of the most exclusive districts of the city, because of highly rated residential buildings. At the heart of the district is the partially pedestrianized area crossed by Corso Trieste, Corso Trento and Corso Duca d'Asta, plenty of some notable residential buildings in eclectic, neo-Gothic and Art Nouveau style. North of this area stands the Gem one of the two Museum of Modern Arts of the Turin metro area. The museum stands in front of a huge monument situated in the center of the roundabout between Corso Vittorio Emanuele II and Corso Galileo Ferraris, the monument to Vittorio Emanuele II, a king of Savoy statue situated on a 39 meters high column. Next to the museum, another significant residential building previously hosted the head office of Juventus, one of the two main Turin football clubs. West of this area, the main building of Polytechnic University of Turin stands along Corso Duca degli Abruzzi. This institute recently expanded in the western district of Senesia with additional modern buildings. Crocetta is crossed by large and modern avenues, such as Corso Duca degli Abruzzi, Corso Galileo Ferraris, and Corso Einaudi. However, the most popular avenue is Corso de Gasperi, which, albeit smaller than other avenues of the district, hosts one of the most fashionable open markets of the city, the so-called Mercado della Crocetta, in which it is possible to find some discounted branded clothing among the more popular ones. Bordered by Corso Castelfidardo, Corso Vittorio Emanuele II, Corso Trapani and Corso Peschiera, this small district is mainly significant for hosting the recent expansion of Turinese Institute of Technology Politecnico. The expansion was possible after undergrounding the railway under Corso Castelfidardo and the subsequent disposal of the old buildings dedicated to the train maintenance present in this area. Politecnico expanded its facilities through two huge overpass buildings over the avenue, linked to new buildings on the west side. This cluster of buildings forms an evocative square with a unique architectural style. The main building on the west side hosts a General Motors Research Center, the General Motors Global Propulsion Systems. Politecnico area extends till via Boggio with further facilities hosted in the former OGR facilities. The institute plans to further build new facilities in the current parking area. North of Politecnico facilities, the main building of the OGR former cluster, which consists in three 180 meters long joint parallel buildings, became recently a big open space which hosts temporary exhibitions and during the hot seasons, its external spaces became a fashionable site to have a typical Italian aperitivo. North of OGR, a former prison complex called La Nuove is a significant example of old European prison building. Another building, now abandoned, is the former Westinghouse factory of train brakes situated in Via Borsellino. The remaining part of the district is mainly formed by residential buildings with not significant architectural value. Main avenues which are crossing the district are Corso Ferrucci and Corso Racanaghi. This last one is hosting a huge daily open market, the Mercado di Corso Racanaghi. The smallest district of the city is CIT Turin. 
this small triangle surrounded by Corso Vittorio Emanuele II, Corso Francia and Corso Inglaterra hosts some high-rated residential buildings and is regarded as a prestigious residential neighborhood by local people. The district features many buildings in Art Nouveau, Art Deco and Neo-Gothic style. Another notable example is Casa Fenoglio La Fleur. Both buildings face Corso Francia. The district is well known for its commercial vocation mainly in its two main streets, Via di Cassa Yolanda and Via Principi di Caja, ideally crossing each other among the gardens Giardino Luigi Martini locally called Piazza Benefica, which hosts a popular open market.